Juan Hernandez with the Low Blow and Southwest Fight News here with UFC fighter Tim Means. How you doing? Doing good, man. It's a nice day. Yeah, it is beautiful here. A beautiful Albuquerque day. We're here at Fit and HB, your, your home. Also, I guess, Arizona Power MMA. You just got back. How was training so far? Uh, training's been fantastic, man. I uh, got out there. The weather, weather was beautiful. You know, 85 degrees. I was hearing it was colder and heck here. So, <laughs> uh, it looks like I got to bring some of the weather back with me. And, uh, you know, finished off a hard sparring today and, uh, you know, going into the week of the fight and um, just ready to go. Now, April 20th, you got a big fight with Jorge Masvidal. Uh, you've been off for a little over nine months. It's the biggest layoff of your career. How do you feel? Uh, you know, I feel healed up. Uh, really tightened, really tightened technique stuff up. Got my cardio good. Uh, got a great team at Fit here behind me. They, they've supported me, uh, really pushed me, and, uh, and and helped me get get my weight under control, get my nutrition under control. And uh, you know, like I said, we're ready to go steamroll Masvidal. And now the last two fights that you've had with the UFC, you've dominated standing up. Jorge Masvidal is pretty much a stand-up guy. As it, are you? I guess are you happy about the matchup? Yeah, his his style plays into my strengths and. Uh, you know, he's, he's a patient fighter. He doesn't get out of his realm too much. One-two guy. And he doesn't like to get into those gunfights. So uh, I, I, I want to go put him in a gunfight and get him breathing hard and see if I can't make him uncomfortable. And as of right now, you guys are scheduled to be the first fight on FX. You're finally televised, man. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's been some time coming. You know, I had to earn my spot. But, uh, you know, we got a good fighter here, and, uh, you know, I think this is a good style for the fans to watch. So, you know, let's expect some fireworks in this fight. Yeah, as far as finally getting your time, you're 18-3, and three, which is an incredible record for a mixed martial artist. Uh, do you feel, I mean, is, is it to your advantage that you're kind of flying under the radar in the lightweight division? Uh, you know, I, I just take it one fight at a time. People notice me, they, they notice me. If not, you know, they're going to notice me when I'm hitting fighters in the face. So, uh... You know, I, I'm just happy to be in the UFC. I'm, I'm happy to be training with a great team, and I'm just happy to be doing what I love to do. And yeah, now the same night that you're fighting, another uh, popular New Mexican fighter, Austin Trout's fighting uh, Canelo Alvarez yeah. in a big boxing match. How, right. how do you analyze that fight? You know, uh, Canelo's a big puncher. You know, it uh, seems like he gets flat-footed, but uh, Trout's a big guy for that weight, and he, he's super fast and left-handed. So. Uh, I think he's going to give uh, Canelo some trouble. You know, I'm going to give the first few rounds to uh, to Canelo, and then I'm going to give the last bit of the fight to, yeah. to Trout, and Trout's going to win by unanimous decision. And also, I don't know if you've talked about this publicly, but for your last fight in or what was supposed to be your last fight in September, there was an incident in the sauna, man. Uh, you know, wh how, how? I mean, are you were you fine after a while after the after the slip and fall in the sauna? Uh, you know, my pride was more hurt than anything. <laughs> Don Donald and I had gotten in. We got in the sauna. I'd been in there for. 40 or 50 minutes, we noticed the sauna wasn't very hot. I wasn't sweating. Uh, it was like 80 degrees, so I jumped out. He turned it up. I jumped out, got in the jacuzzi, and then I was in there for about 10 minutes. Got out, and I laid down, and I thought, oh, I need to check the temperature. I went to jump up and push myself up, and I, I guess I just missed my hand placement and caught my head off the back, back of the bench. The doctor didn't clear me to fight. I had a knot behind my ear. And uh, hurt my pride more than anything, but, uh, you know, here we are fighting a good guy. Uh, Saturday night, and you know, it, it, like I said, the 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 10-month layoff's been a, a huge blessing, man. Really worked on my technique, really got my nutrition right. Yeah. Been having a good time. Now you were a, the butt of a lot of jokes too. I mean, even Wikipedia had you losing to the sauna. I mean, could you? I mean, did you just take that time just to laugh at yourself and then say, "All right, that was nothing." You know, the, the Joe Rogan interviewed the sauna. <laughs> you know, I brought some backup for the sauna. I got a helmet, some floaties for the sauna, but uh, you know. They even had the sauna dropping a big right hand on me, you know, which I think it was like Bisbee and Dan Henderson yeah. Photoshop. That's a great job. That, that, that's really, really unique. And uh, yeah, it, it's just good stuff, man. So, you know, I, I've always been one of those guys that had to learn, learn things the hard way. And it's just one of the things I have to learn, th learn something the hard way. You know? Here and we go. Find the message, any of your fans? Uh, not so much fans, but my team, man. My yeah. team's been pushing me. They've been behind me. Uh, they're constantly here to be in practice with me and get me going here at Fit and HB. I love my team, and uh, I just want to thank those guys for getting me where I'm at. I haven't got here by myself. My coaching staff, Tom Vaughn, John Judy, Arlene Vaughn, you know, thank you guys for getting me here, and let's rock and roll in, in, uh, on Saturday night. Tim Means against Jorge Masvidal, April 20th, Saturday, San Jose, California. Thank you very much, Tim.